Good morning, and welcome to our January 25th Intermediate Planning Webinar. My name is Dan Ba, and I am one of the Precision Business Planning Specialists here at AgSolver. And in today's webinar, we're going to be going over the soil builder scenario. Go through our agenda, we'll have our introduction, and then we'll select a field that we want to create a soil builder zone on to rebuild soil structure and soil health. Also select the zones or scenarios representing standard assumptions and associated costs and then compare scenarios and ROI on the zones. And then we'll follow up with any questions anyone might have. Before we hop into the application, I do want to mention that we are in Q&A mode. So if you do have any questions during the webinar, um, type your question in the chat box below my contact information. My email is djbahe at agsolver.com or you can contact our support team at support at agsolver.com. And then you can call me as well. My cell phone number is 319-238-1978. And I do want to give a little bit of background on the soil builder scenario. So this scenario was actually created by a soil, water, and conservation district down in southwest Iowa where it's funded through a water quality initiative grant. And what this scenario does, it's a one-year program where a producer would take an area of a field out of production, um, and then that fall after a corn or soybean crop, they plant a winter hardy cover crop. And then in about the March, April timeframe, they can either mow or graze that cover crop off. And then following that mowing or grazing uh, application, they come in and plant a um, diverse mix of uh, cover crops, whether it be to um, build soil, soil organic matter, soil structure, or break soil compaction. Um, and then uh, that following April, or excuse me, that following September, they can either bale or graze that uh, summer cover crop and then come in and then plant a rye grass or winter hardy cover crop that fall. Um, the SWCD through the Water Quality Initiative grant um, offer a $60 an acre payment uh, for this practice. And then uh, that $60 would cover uh, seed costs and then establishment of the cover crop in terms of getting it seeded or drilled. So that's a little bit of background on the scenario type. Um, what we will do now is we will represent that scenario within the application. So for this case, we're going to select our building field. And I have already created our 2017 corn production crop performance. Uh, we are basing this off the 2014 yield uh, due to the variability that this year shows. Um, 2014 shows about an average variability for corn production year. So we went ahead and use that to yield data and then apply today's commodity prices along with today's input prices to show us our projected financial performance on this field. And you can see uh, as it stands right now, um, based off of our budget and production, uh, we're going to be losing about $143 an acre with a total field profit of $4,500. Um, at a commodity price, I believe right around $3.30 corn. We'll look at our crop budget here real quick. Or $3.43. And then we have our crop budget listed out with equipment, our seed cost, our fertilizer, herbicide, insecticide, insurance, interest, our drying cost, land cost, labor, overhead, home personal, which is living expenses and then other. So that's what's 
being made up and the area that we're going to be looking at for a soil builder scenario is this extreme east side of the field where on on average we produce oh anywhere from 80 to 115 bushel and going through if we look at our break-even commodity price uh, we actually would need nine 130 bushel uh, yield increase to break even based off of this field's variability. We can also look at break even commodity price and then an expense decrease to break even. Then we have our production efficiency, the measurement of bushels produced per thousand dollars spent. So now we're going to create that soil builder scenario. So the first thing that we're going to do is copy a scenario. So right underneath the field name, you see the green copy scenario button. We'll go ahead and click that and select 2017 corn production. And then we will name this soil builder scenario. Go ahead and click save. And what we're doing right now is creating a carbon copy of our 2017 corn production planning scenario and just renaming it soil builder scenario. So after we have copied our scenario, we are going to next add a zone. So underneath that scenario name, you see the green add zone button. We'll click on that. And our drawing tools populate up in the upper left-hand corner. So we have our polygon drawing tool. We want to we want to draw circles we can click on our circle drawing tool or if we want to select the whole field zone and create the entire field as a management zone we can do that um, at the very bottom there but in this case we're going to click on the polygon drawing tool and what I'm going to do is come in and drop a point there and then bring that all the way to the south end of the field and then I'm just going to follow the border of the field right around by placing points And then we'll click our first point that we dropped to close the zone. We're going to name this zone Soil Builder. Zone. Now, this is where we'll enter in that budget for the Soil Builder zone. We're going to reduce yield, so we're not going to produce any bushels on this area. Commodity price, we're actually going to take that down to zero. Other revenue, we're going to put that at $60 for the payment from the SWCD. Equipment cost um, to drill the cover crop, put that at $20 an acre. And then we'll adjust our seed cost. So the cover crop seed costs forty dollars an acre. <clears throat> fertilizer, we're not going to fertilize this area for the, of the field. Um, same thing with herbicide and insecticides. We're just really pulling off all input budget expense items. We will still use and leave land in there. We'll labor off. I'm also going to leave my overhead all personal living expenses. I'll leave that in there. Um, and then finally, other will pull that off as well. So now we'll go ahead and click Save and apply this new crop budget to this particular zone or 6.7 acres. And if we scroll down, see on this zone, where before when we were raising corn on this, we were only producing 112 bushel. Our profit was we were losing right around $337 an acre. 
return on investment was negative 46 percent and if we look at the very bottom when we were raising corn on this area we were losing about twenty two hundred dollars now we're losing about two thousand dollars on this zone performance but the big question is how does that compare side by side on the entire field what does that do to the entire field financial performance so right next to the field name we have an options drop down menu I will go ahead and click on that and the first option is compare scenarios click on that So in this case, we'll have our 2017 planning scenario where we're raising corn on the entire field versus corn production with our soil builder zone for year one. So you can see here on this specific field, so after taking that acreage out of production, our, our overall field average yield goes up to about 184 bushels an acre. We went from losing $143 an acre to now we're only losing 136 um, Our return on investment loss did go up a little bit, but you can see our break-even price went from needing 428 corn now down to 352 corn on this entire field which is more representative of today's market that's the key metric that I'm going to be looking for along with if we improved our production efficiency so you can see here we increased our production efficiency by about 50 bushels per thousand dollars spent uh, that's big that's what we're really trying to target and go after and then down at the bottom here, you see total field profit. We went from losing about $4,500 on this field, now losing about $4,300 on this entire field. And you can see that we've shifted acres from losing $500. Now, the majority of them are losing about $300. So we can increase the zone or de decrease the size of this zone, uh, but it's a one-time program. So now we'll open the floor up for any questions anyone might have regarding this scenario. And I do want to mention that this once this webinar is completed, it will be posted onto our Ag Solver YouTube channel. So you can go back and rewatch this uh, webinar. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or the support team or give me a call and we can create this scenario on your own fields within your own enterprise so if there is no questions i want to thank you for viewing our january 25th pzm or excuse me our intermediate planning webinar soil builder scenario thank you